We are going to discuss five niches in this video that are on the rise and guaranteed to be making money this spring. They will most likely be making money well past the spring as well. And the fifth niche just made its way to my radar. It's really kind of new and trending right now. And it's a niche that we can mix or cross niche into the other niches that we're going to be chatting about today. And you will want to stick around to the end of the video because then we're going to jump into how I would add value to the market in each of these niches. You can listen to videos all day long sharing with you about profitable niches or trending niches, but you will not make any money in those niches if you don't learn how to add something new and valuable to the market in them. I know for me, when I first started my print on demand business, this was the scariest part. It was the most foreign thing to me coming from a teaching background and not a sales background whatsoever. But once I listened to enough content about it, started to apply the strategies in my shop, I got better and better at it and it became the part that I thought was the most fun, figuring out how to add value to the market in the niches that I was designing in. And it's the part that's the most rewarding because it will lead to you scaling your shop and getting more sales and making you more profits. The first niche that we're gonna unpack here to make our spring niche list is the professions niche. And I'm going to put a slash there and attach graduation to that. Professions slash graduation. Graduations happen in December for the fall semester, January for the winter semester, May for the spring semester, and August for the summer semester. So this is an opportunity to sell your t-shirts every year four times a year. But the biggest one for professions mixed with graduation is going to be in May when that spring semester is over. Many customers come to Etsy looking for special gifts. And at graduation time, they're looking for just that right gift for that graduate. They're looking for something really niched down and really personal. So this is why profession shirts sell so well. Someone can find the perfect shirt for that graduate with that specific profession on it. I keep saying shirt because I primarily sell shirts and sweatshirts in my shop, but this could be any product. When you do your market research and you go through and look, you know, you could look for graduation gift and see the types of products that are popping up. Any of those products, and there are many print on demand products that you can fulfill through a print on demand company like Printify that would make great products for your graduation designs or your profession designs to go on. If you are looking to save yourself a little bit of time and you're wishing that you could pick up a resource that would help you with ideas on popular professions, I did put together a general niche resource that includes a 12 month calendar that shows listing dates for over 40 different niches and when to start listing for those niches and when to be done listing for those niches by. So it gives you a window of time of when you really need to get those designs up for those specific niches. And in the back of the resource, I built out a couple of things to help you with your evergreen niches, which would be things like professions, something that can make you money all year round and aren't really related to an awareness day or a holiday or a seasonal type of niche. And in the back there, I did build out a professions list. It's got over 50 popular professions back there that you could work from. I will leave that resource linked down below in the description if that's something you'd be interested in. There are two professions that leap out at me that we should be hitting during the spring. And one of those professions is teacher. Now being a profession, teacher is an evergreen niche, so it can sell well throughout the entire year. But it's not the same types of designs in the teacher niche that sell well throughout the entire year. You really have to be building out your shop and rounding out your shop with the different types of teacher designs that sell at the different times throughout the year if you wanna build consistent sales in this huge niche, it's a, it's a huge money-making niche. I can tell you from experience that teachers go right to Etsy to look for those shirts that they wanna wear for the different things throughout the year. Now, specifically in spring, not only can you hit the graduation niche and, and make shirts that that new teacher would be proud to wear, so people buying gifts for that person that is graduating, 
have that perfect inspirational gift that makes them feel proud to be a first-year teacher. Not only do you have that coming up, but we have teachers going to Etsy looking to buy shirts that they can wear while they are administering end-of-year exams and end-of-year state tests. It's a big niche. Inspirational sayings go really well here so that teachers can inspire their kiddos. Also, funny phrases can sell well here too. Another micro niche or sub niche under that big umbrella of teacher as it pertains specifically to the spring and as we wind down here toward the last stretch of school is end of year school shirts. Teachers like to have a fun shirt that they wear for the last day of school. A lot of people think, oh, well, I'm not going to make a shirt. Well, at least that's what I used to think. It's what I used to think. I'm not going to make something that someone can only wear once, but you'd be surprised. Lots of people come to Etsy for uh, really a shirt that they can only wear for a short amount of time, but it's for something that's really exciting to them, like the last day of school. So that's a big niche with teachers during the spring. Retirement is another one. Most teachers retire at the end of the school year looking for that fun shirt. And this can also be a group niche because sometimes you're having a retirement party and everybody's wearing that shirt to celebrate the teacher who's retiring. And of course we have teacher appreciation, which is May 6th this year. And that's an entire week toward the end of the school year where teachers are celebrated and it's a really big deal. Every day you come into school and the PTA, the parents that are really involved in the school have put together beautiful things for the teacher each day of that week to show their appreciation for the teacher. And all kinds of neat gifts are Uh, showered upon the teacher. So this is a great thing with many different types of products. Personalized products are just excellent here. And then looping back to graduation, not only are new teachers graduating and getting ready to start their career, but you've got teachers that are involved in graduations. So you've got uh, some big years for that are kindergarten. So kindergarten teachers are looking for shirts to wear to the kindergarten graduation. Fifth grade teachers, that was a big one at my school. And then of course you've got your seniors that are graduating. And you can even make, if you are making shirts, you might even consider making shirts here with a design that works for the class to wear along with the teacher. So sometimes that can happen or a group of teachers will often purchase, like the whole fifth grade team will purchase matching shirts to wear to the fifth grade graduation. I'm going to hit one more profession with you before we move on to our second niche, but it just kind of dawned on me and I'm going to share it real quick. I thought, man, I just shared so much valuable information and only a super tiny percentage of people will actually act on all of the things I just shared. I know from experience how profitable the things are, all of the things I just said, how profitable those things are and how valuable that information I just gave you was. So I really encourage you to jump in and make some decisions today about acting on some of the niches we're going to talk about. I also did put together a specific teacher resource with all teacher-related micro-niches and sub-niches and a 12-month calendar there with like windows of listing dates of when to have all of these types of things listed in your shop. All of the things I just mentioned are on that calendar plus tons more. So if you already have that resource, I encourage you to watch that part again while you're looking at your while you're looking at your resource just so you're sinking in more information. It might give you more ideas of how to execute some of these designs. And if you are interested in that resource, I'll also leave that one linked down below. The second profession I wanted to mention here was nurses. Nursing is a huge niche on Etsy. And we've got all of these nurses that are going to be graduating and all of these people that are going to be wanting to buy gifts for those nurses also. So definitely worth hitting and so many different types of nurses that you can scale your designs out for. Now, I when I say scale your designs out, I mean like you might do the same design and just pop in a different type of nurse into each of those designs. So maybe one is for the labor and delivery nurse and you pop out the words labor and delivery and now you put and put nurse practitioner in. I don't suggest doing that more than 10 times. At least that's what I do. I don't want to scale out a design to like 50 different nurse positions. And then that design just was kind of a loser design. And I 
didn't realize it was going to be a loser design and I wasted all that time listing all that. So if I scale it out to like 10 different nurse positions and one or two of those gets going, then I keep scaling it out to different types of nurse positions. Also coming up with the niche of nurses, they also have a nurse appreciation week and patients are going on to Etsy looking for special gifts for those nurses. Nurse appreciation week usually coincides right with teacher appreciation week. So that'll be coming up in spring. Also, lots of different personalized products go really well here. I am in the process of putting together a medical slash nurse niche resource. I'm having a lot of fun doing the research there for that. Get like a bit nerdy when it comes to doing the research. So if you are thinking, oh good, I'm glad she's doing a nurse one. Uh, That was kind of on my radar because people asked me about that specifically. And you're thinking, boy, I hope she really covers this, you know, particular topic or builds out a, a piece of the resource to help me with this part of that niche. If you have something in mind that you'd like to see in that resource, pop down into the comments. Let me know. I'm working on it right now. Your feedback would be invaluable for me to make sure I'm putting together the resource, the very best resource that's going to help you the very best that it can. We're going to jump into niche two, but before we do, I'll take a quick minute to invite you to go down and boop the like button. If you do feel like you are being provided with value from this video and that you're getting some ideas that you can implement into your shops to help you make money. And if you are enjoying this content, I'm also going to invite you to join our community, hit the subscribe button so that you get more content like this in your feed on YouTube. Oh, and actually real quick before we jump into number two, I've just got one more thing to say about the professions. Some cross niche ideas for you, and this is this is power packed. So I, I hope you guys are listening. I hope you implement at least one of these things. Some cross niche ideas for you with professions. It's too late now, if you're listening to this video now, it's gonna be released in March, to hit Black History Month with professions that already passed, but that's a great cross niche to hit with with your professions. It's a great one. I really listened to that tip. And also another good one, of course, is graduation. We just discussed it. Holidays such as Easter and Cinco de Mayo, those are the ones that are coming up. But cross-niching your professions with holidays is also a nice one to hit as we're moving through the year. All right, niche number two political niche as we move into the spring. It's a political year and elections aren't until November. There is a lot of time to sell these shirts still and it's just going to keep ramping up as we get into the spring. Now keep in mind when you're hitting this niche you cannot use photos of people in you know you cannot use photos so don't find a politician and use his photo. The photo belongs to the person that took the photo, so that'd be infringing on a trademark. And you do want to check any phrases that you're using to make sure they haven't been trademarked. Something a politician said, go over to uspto.gov, make sure that it's not trademarked before you use it. Now, when I was kind of looking into this for the purpose of doing this video, I found that Trump shirts are doing really well. Uh, It does not have to have Trump, but I did see a lot of bestsellers on those already that had Trump on them. And we have a ton of time again to go still between now and the election. And this can be for Trump or against Trump. I found demand for both sides. I found a lot of bestsellers that said vote on them. We're already doing well. People love to encourage others to vote or to proudly share that they have voted, that we always wear that little sticker on our way out to show that we voted. I saw this bestseller here, but I would not do this because you are using photos that belong to someone else. However, one idea that popped out to me was maybe doing an I voted version of this where you customize it with the person who's purchasing it from you with their photos. Also can offer other custom listings like this one I'm showing you here where the customer can write in what candidate they want. Funny definitely sells well in this niche. People like to show humor with the shirt they're wearing or the gift they're buying. And the political niche sells great as a gift for dad also or for anyone who likes politics. So this can double as you know Mother's Day and Father's Day types of gift giving items. And quick tip here in terms of adding value to the market, one of my favorite ways to add value to the market with my products is to research other products. So I find best sellers like this one here that is a different product from what I am making and 
I try to be the first person to maybe incorporate some of those design elements or put that phrase on the product that I'm selling. Niche number three, autism awareness. World Autism Awareness Day is April 2nd, but it's celebrated all month long. In this niche, you will see a lot of blue and the element of puzzle pieces. Many customers here are going to be the moms who have autistic children and the teachers and mental health workers and support staff that are working with those kiddos. This actually makes a really nice complementary niche to the teacher niche. So if your goal is to build that niche out with items that sell throughout the year, helping you gain traction in the Etsy algorithm in the area of the teacher niche, you may want to consider adding these to your shop as well. And I could have made what I'm about to mention a separate niche on our list, but I'm going to kind of just mention it real briefly here. Mental Health Awareness Month, which is a whole different month. It's in May and the ribbon color associated with this awareness month is green. So you can kind of put both of those awareness months on your radar for the spring. The fourth niche to make our spring lineup is beer or craft beer. I pulled this stat here from E-Rank and when we take a look at this, we can see in the graph there over to the right that it really kind of spikes here as we head into the months that maybe people are able to be outside and drink beer. And maybe that's why we have a spike for beer shirt during the spring. But those spikes are coming. This is the time to sell those kinds of shirts if that's something you think you'd enjoy designing in. You want to be careful here. You don't want to infringe on brand. So you can't put any branded beers on your shirts, but funny could sell really well in this niche. It also doubles as a great Father's Day niche because that's something I didn't even mention here in our list of five, but Father's Day is a huge niche. So is Mother's Day. And those are things that are coming up and we should be designing for these things as well. So beer, Shirts could go well for Father's Day also, which you'll want to keep in mind when you're putting your SEO blocks together for your beer shirts. So your title and your tags, how customers are finding you, you might want to mention something about gift for dad or something like that in that title and those tags. The fifth and final niche on our spring list is one you might not have heard of yet. It's called Coquette. And before I tell you what the coquette niche is, it has just gotten on my radar. I have just started to play inside this niche and it's a great one to mix with other niches. Let's take a quick look at E-Rank. When we look at E-Rank here, we see that the average searches, so the average times a customer is coming in and typing in, in this case, coquette shirt, which is, which is what I looked up. The average searches are green, so it's pretty solid. There's a lot of people searching that each and every month. And as far as sellers that are selling items that have that tag, coquette shirt in them, that's yellow. So red is bad. That means it's, you know, it's not really bad. It just means there's a lot of competition. And that means you have to have very competitive designs or you have to really niche down. But here we have yellow, so there's more space in this niche. Coquette niche is really fun in my opinion. It's really girly, it's really feminine. There's a lot of pink. The pink bows are super popular in this niche. As I was looking at bestseller after bestseller, so many pink bows implemented in this. Flowers, like roses, specifically pink roses, pearls, cherries, strawberries. So those kind of red fruits. I'm personally not going to go after the really large niche of just, just coquette. I will be mixing this into niches that I already design in. So I'm personally not going to put a sweatshirt up with a bunch of pink bows on it because there's already a bunch of people already doing that and it's going to be hard for me to stand out in the market. In just a minute, we are going to get to that part of the video where I show you how to add value to the market. I've got some really fun ideas for you. I think it'll really get your creative juices flowing. But real quick, I'll just help you get a feel for the coquette niche. And I did create a fr totally free resource. It's a little quick two-page resource. I'll have it linked down in the description below on the coquette niche where everything I'm about to mention and then some is laid out on that resource if you decide to work in this niche and you want like a little cliff notes of the coquette niche. Popular croquette, coquette elements, pink bows with long ribbons, cherries, strawberries, the color pink, roses. I saw varsity letters and a lot of bestsellers here. A three by three grid. So you have nine objects 
on the shirt and in a three by three grid pink plaid pink polka dots i saw this infused in some of the patterns i was seeing and there's not just regular coquette you could do dark coquette which then now all of those things but now they're black so black bows another complementary niche to this is ballet core where a lot of pink is infused and part of the reason I'm thinking that this is so popular and I was kind of reading up on it and looking into it, researching it a bit. The Barbie movie came out, which really gave the color pink a lot of popularity. So Barbie seems to be kind of all mixed in with the idea of this girly pink color. Now, don't go out and put anything, you know, don't put the word Barbie on anything. You'd totally be infringing if you do that. In the resource, I will also have a list there for you of great niches that I think this mixes nicely with like the mom niche or the teacher niche western niche i saw lots of elements of like cowboy boots with a big pink bow on them i have a whole bunch listed down in the resource that i'll leave linked below i also put product ideas that i saw were going really well like phone cases high search volume by customers but low relatively low competition with etsy sellers that had that product for sale and i also put together a list of coquette seo terms I do suggest only using the SEO phrases that I included there that are really relevant matches with the items or the designs that you're putting together. Let's jump on and get our designs made, the designs that are going to add value to the market. We are going to use Kittle for our designing, and I do have a coupon code down in the description. It'll get you 25% off on your first month of your monthly Kittle Pro Plan, and that's what I'm using. I'm using the Pro Plan. You'll want to use the link, and then you'll want to put Shauna YT, stands for YouTube. I'll have that down in the description below too. Also, I'm often asked where I got my graphics or how I found them on Creative Fabrica. We're gonna be using Creative Fabrica to grab the graphics that I want to use in my designs. And I am going to leave the links to the different Creative Fabrica bundles that I use today down in the description. I also have a link to Creative Fabrica with a discount code if you would like to use that. You do get your first 10 downloads for free. We're gonna add massive value to the market and so quickly today, we're gonna to open our design app and today we're using Kittle. I'm going to go and choose POD presets when I open a new project in Kittle because then I can just choose my print provider. Today we'll use Printify and it will automatically populate the best settings for that print provider. We always want to be basing our design off of research and we will be basing this design off the research I'm showing here in this sweatshirt. I'll kind of leave it on the screen so we know what we're kind of going after here. That's just a general coquette sweatshirt. We're gonna teacher it up, but we're gonna go with that three by three grid that is in many of the best sellers. So it's going well with this niche. I took this image here with the pencil and the heart behind it. I found that on Creative Fabrica and I just downloaded that into Kittle dragged and dropped it right in. And right now I'm just going through and getting my grid. I'm using Command C and Command V to just copy and paste it all over the board here. Now I'm going, now that I have it all spaced out nicely, I'm going to go through and remove every other heart so that I can place a ribbon. And right now I'm, I'm going through and doing that. I went ahead and got all of these ribbons from Creative Fabrica also. It was all in a set that went together. So the colors kind of have the same hues in them and they kind of match. And I'm just going through and every other heart here, I'm going to place a different ribbon. A lot of the Coquette designs have different ribbons. So I'm using a different ribbon from that set for each of our ribbons. Once I'm all done, I'm gonna to go to that top right corner of the screen and I'm going to download this image but I'm first going to make sure that I click over that it's a transparent background. We don't want a white background on our design. So now that I've done that, I can go through and easily make another design. I've gone ahead and erased those hearts and now I'm placing these pencils in there. And with the pencils, we could go a teacher again. So once we put our SEO, our title and our tags, uh, SEO stands for search engine optimization. Those are the phrases that people are typing in to find your items in Etsy. So your title and your tags. We could use the same block of teacher 
related coquette SEO for our customers to find us with this design. We can also niche this down to a writing teacher because this would work well for a writing teacher. I'm adding another ribbon to the pencils. I saw this on many bestsellers. All of my decisions are fueled by bestsellers that I've observed during the research phase before I ever got to the designing. And now I'm ready to go ahead and download this one. I've got two teacher designs ready to go. We're going to do another teacher one, and this time we're gonna take our inspiration from these three designs. I'm gonna be fo focusing first on that purple one that says teach. That's what we're gonna write across the top of our page. So the first thing I'm going to do is add text and add a headline. Just the word teach across a sweatshirt is really popular in the teacher niche. So we're going to just coquette that up and we're going to use varsity letters. Varsity letters is something that works great with this specific teach niche. And it also, I found it many times throughout the coquette niche. So it's kind of a two for one here. Once I have it spaced properly, stretching across the top of my artboard here, we're going to use one of my favorite features from Kittle and that is the transformations, and we're going to use distort specifically. We could pull on these little dots here and we can distort the text. We're kind of going after that rounded look we see down there in that purple sweatshirt. I can also pull on the corners of the word teach to stretch it out a little bit more. And these are very, it's very easy to kind of manipulate this and you'll get the hang of it very quickly. Once we have that looking the way we want it to, and I think I've got it the way I like it, we're going to now draw some inspiration from more of that image there on the left with the big bow, but we're gonna use a big pencil that's got the pink, it's got the polka dots, so it's a bit of a more coquette style is what we're going for here, but we want to teach it up. So now that I've got my pencil there, I want the word teach to match the color of the pencil. So I didn't draw a whole lot of inspiration here from the cherries that you see over there on the on the right. However, the idea here was like a one big image seems to do nicely here. I think I'm going to go ahead and add a bow to our pencil. And since that's an element that does so well, we'll just kind of add it to the side here. And I can use this little turny thing here to kind of move, to turn the bow the way that I want. And now we'll go ahead and change the word teach to match. You kind of want to have in mind what color sweatshirt you're going to put this on. I think I'm going to stick with white. I saw a lot of the coquette style shirt selling well on white and on uh, natural. So we'll go ahead and leave it on white. I'm going to just pull this little dropper here to pull one of the shades of the pencil or the bow. No, I think I liked the pencil better. I liked the more pink. I think we kind of lost some of that coquette feel with the peach. So we'll go back to the pink. And then once we have the color that we want, we'll be able to download this with a, with a transparent background. And then we'll be able to go over and drop this in our print shop. And actually I think I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. We'll go ahead and take up the whole space. Before we jump into our next design, I'm gonna show you a way I would add something special to the sweatshirt. I'm just going to put start designing and they're gonna print, they're gonna pick a print shop for me. All I have access to is front and back side. You see that at the bottom. I want sleeve print. So I'm going back and I need to choose my own print provider then. SwiftPod is one of the print providers that will let you do sleeve print. Once you click start designing with them, you're going to see at the bottom, we've got all of these new options because now we can also do sleeve on the left or sleeve on the right print. Now I can go ahead and drop my teach design into my print shop and into Printify. I can also choose all the colors that I would like to use here. I'm going to go with white. Sand, as far as a sweatshirt, sand is a good color, but I do not like our design on the sand, so I would not offer that. You can offer your listing on more than one. I also saw like the light gray was doing well with the coquette style, so maybe you could see how that looks. That one looks pretty decent. 
So you would choose which colors you want to offer this on. When you get to the next screen, Printify will show you what your design will look like through some mock-ups here. These are not the mock-ups I use in my listing. I'm going to purchase pretty ones that have a better chance of converting the person that clicks into my listing into a sale. You'll want to change your title. That's where your SEO goes, your phrases that customers are using to find you. I'm just going to put for now, coquette, teach, pencil, sweatshirt. Now, once you get in, if you were pushing this into your shop, you're going to want to change your description and you're going to fill all this out. For right now, we're only going to save it as a draft. So I've saved a name on it. I'll be able to find it easily later. I can hide it in my store and push it over to my store and then finish it up over there. It'll be in my drafts in my store. Or I can save it as a draft in Printify and I you know, and not push it over to my store yet. But you don't want it visible in your store until you've gone through and fixed your pricing, your description, your title, and your tags. You will also want to add beautiful mock-up photos. I purchased mine on Etsy that you've added your design to that are much more likely to convert to a sale than the ones that the print provider is using. Now, this video is not focusing on exactly how to set your listings up, but if this is one of your first listings, you'll want to watch some additional videos on that. I'm going to duplicate my sweatshirt because what I really wanted to show you here is that if I duplicate this, a customer might purchase this sweatshirt, but if I offered it with sleeve print, I can now go in and drop the sleeve print into my duplicate copy of the sweatshirt. So I've got the front image here that I need, and now I can go to the sleeve print, and after I do up their personalized name, I can put it on the sweatshirt. So this is what that looks like. You'll wanna make sure you choose the same sleeve that you're showing in your mock-up photos. And I'm going, I just did this up real quick in Kittle also. I did a bow and I did a cursive font that was in my mind, kind of trying to resemble like a ribbon with the teacher's name. And then I'm going to pull this down to the very bottom. And one of the most nerve wracking parts of this when you're first getting started with sleeve print is that you feel like you're kind of guessing like, where's, where's this going to be? What is it going to exactly look like? I'm blowing this up as big as I can get it right here with inside those guidelines. If you go outside those guidelines, it might not print for you. So you don't want to be outside the guidelines. And when I save product here, what's cool is it shows me these images so I can see exactly where that sleeve print is going to wind up. So here's our front part. Here's kind of what it looks like from the front. And then we're going to go to another mock-up photo here and I can see, uh, let's get a nice close up of what it's going to look like on the sleeve. So this gives you a pretty good idea of how much space that's taking up, which also helps you to make sure you mock this up properly when you are putting your photos in your listing so customers have the right expectations of what they'll receive. And moving right along, showing how we're going to be adding value in these different places that we've chatted about, these different niches that we've chatted about, we're going to mix Coquette into Autism Awareness. You can see on the left, I'm getting my inspiration here from this Tennessee version that was done in the Coquette style. And now I'm going to do blue ribbons. I'm using these ribbon pieces that have puzzles, puzzle pieces within them. There's a lot of different ways we could have done this. I thought about using big blue puzzle pieces. And if I were working in this niche for a while, I would make several different designs for this. And now we could go and do this for really any awareness day and just use the ribbons, the ribbon color that symbolizes or represents that awareness day. I even did a fun beer themed one and this would be targeting the ladies, which that is a niche. Girls that drink beer is absolutely a niche. I've made money in that niche myself. So this would be a fun one. I didn't see anyone doing this in the beer niche yet. I dare you to have some fun this spring crossing the coquette niche with maybe some niches you're already working in. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like the next one popping up as I'll continue chatting with you about how to add value to the market. The most profitable thing you can learn how to do as you are learning how to build your Etsy shop. So you should watch that one next, but not until after that tip from Tucker. Tucker, take it away.